All right, uh, no intro. Round thirty, just round thirty. We're starting off with the good with the light faction versus secret. It's more base game battle rails. I think it's pretty safely secret faction favor because I mean Gatling Gun and Artemis are gonna do an excellent job against the Chronomancers, but aside from that, it's actually probably pretty fair. Divine Arbiter is kind of just solo the big units and all of them. Oh, and now all the Divine Arbiters are dead. That was real. That was hella unfortunate. These Chronomancers don't stand a chance against the ranged units. That actually does have me curious. What does have more range? Divine Arbiter or. Artemis. Artemis. Okay. Next up, Viking versus Historical. Oh, they're why they're getting smoked really badly somehow. I thought you, they would put up a longer fight. Honestly, I really thought they would. Medieval versus animals. This is one I wasn't planning on really doing, but then I realized, well, I mean, the catapults get lucky, which they absolutely did not. Next up is a nice and even cost match between Farmer and Ancient. Oh. Well, maybe the second Scarecrow was a bit too strong. See what happens if we only have one Scarecrow, and then we need to figure out something to do for the rest of it. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, it really didn't matter what they add. The farmer faction just wins. Oh my god, that Sarissa though took out like four things before he died. Evertail versus Dynasty was another one that I wasn't expecting to have to actually do, but then I remembered. Oh uh, yeah, the Huacha. Yeah, the Huacha just. kind of murders most things here. Like, it does so much damage per volley. It's not per hit, but it just showers them. I mean, if they can win this, uh, they 100% deserve to. Guys, come on. Get your shots. Hit your shots! They really didn't. Okay. Wild West versus Holidays. Begin. I don't actually know if... Well... Holidays are really gonna stand a chance in this battle. They don't have that many units. I do think um, Satan Claus has the ability to deflect projectiles, so Deadeye isn't nearly as big of a problem, but Gunslinger still is. One down, so that means like a lot less. Oh dear. Deadeye. Gonna have your work cut out for you, girl. There goes two. Can you get the third? Yeah, and he 
does have the ability to deflect projectiles, so that means they've lost, doesn't it? Uh, game two. We'll try game two. I think if they had two gunslingers, they would, like, win really badly. That just kind of means they get to walk forward with all of their melee units to the St. Claws and shelves back here. This will actually win even worse. That's surprising. Neo Undertale crossover versus Ultra Cabin is up next. We'll see if they can actually like uh, deal with, you know, two big boys. They've got two big issues, Javen and Giflet do. I guess Luke also has to deal with it, but it's not nearly as bad as, well, it sounds. And I mean, well, they've already got almost all of them but the two down. There's still uh, Jason over there. Jason's now dead. Oh. Luke down. Oh, Lust, you have like one shot left. We have one chance. You missed. <laughs> Next up, uh, well, no, not again, not next up, but round two, round two, fight number two, where they all, ha where they, it's equal price. Now, Ultra Cabin does have a lot more Giflets and Jibbins, but Neo Undertale Crossover has everything going for it now. They have strong HP units, they have a unit that can deal high amounts of damage, like Zarin and Zack, Rendon too, they have consistent DPS and they have three love arrow units. Archie of course being ridiculously fast. No, just make just making them fear. You know, uh, good hit C. Uh, C also, of course, doing huge amounts of one v one damage. Dragon punch and dragon kick to thank for that one. Seems we got uh, Lee's versus Giflet over here. That would be a very interesting one v one. Though it's pretty heavily in Lee's favor. And down goes Ultra Cabin. Ultimate versus Element. This might not be a very fair matchup. Ultimate doesn't have much going for it. They have Farmer, but Lava Lord's going to do amazing against pros. Wind Warlord, not so much. Oh, well, maybe Lava Lord isn't going to do so well against Pros. I mean, also, uh, Secret Ultimate with, you know, Cupid Arrow is going to be an issue. Tribal Ultimate's pretty tanky, so he's going to just get in there and cause issues. Ice King is now enraged. Nope, that's not Secret Ultimate down just yet. Oh, one more and he would be. It's pretty much just Farmer Ultimate left. I mean, actually Medieval Ultimate's over there still. Oh, there goes another. Crow's coming out. Crow's killing the Thunder Czar.
Oh, Ice King. Is Ice King gonna like single-handedly do this? I mean, he's he's finally down. It all comes down to this: Lava Lord versus Farmer Ultimate. He's not gonna survive another Crow Barrage, but oh, Farmer Ultimate! Oh, Farmer. Okay, game two. Match two. Match two. So, evil ultimate's gonna be a um, big issue. Same with good ultimate. I think evil ultimate's gonna be the biggest issue they need to get rid of as soon as possible. And he's down. Got a nice little last minute strike off. But just, oh, good ultimate's also really far down. Who knows? Ultimate, uh. Elements may are just doing like very very well for it. We got like one Ice King, one a few Lava Lords left. It's just not enough, though, to take down all of the ultimates. Miscellaneous two versus anime. Now try as they might, uh, anime is not going to be the faction to take down Miscellaneous two. I think there are very few factions left who are actually probably going to even put up a fight against Miscellaneous 2 at this point. I mean, it's not like they're doing bad, but there's just not really any way they can win. I'm gonna say, unless they like, threw him off the edge of the map, that <laughs> they could definitely win that way. No, oh, that was a horrible hurricane slash. I mean, there is actually no way he would win this matchup in reality. It's the tabs matchup, however. Oh, that was a good one. Taking down Itachi as well. Come on. No, you can't. Like, even if they win this, there's no way they would win if everything was equalized. I mean, I could show you if you don't believe me. This is gonna be a slaughter. There's no way anime is gonna be able to stand up to just the combined might of all of the hybrids at once. All of the slashes just that's so much damage going against them. I'm not even sure who would be able to fight Miscellaneous 2 at this point. Maybe MHA? MHA might do well. Um, there is a massive rivalry for who's going to take second place. Because, I mean, at this point, Miscellaneous 2 is still undefeated 75% of the way through the tournament. SOC versus TF2. It's our next matchup. Okay, uh, Spy has been murdered. Scout down. Where are you rolling at, Overseer? Uh, someone else is dead. Medic down. I I don't even I don't know what they summoned. Wasn't particularly good though, I know that much. Even more things are down. Uh overseer down. Oh they'll nah, they'll win this one, but then we get to move on to uh even matchup. Game match two. So uh I feel really bad for those spies back there. They are very, very, very dead. Meanwhile, uh, Overseer is kind of going ham with just f breathing fire on everyone. They've killed the three spies that have been rampaging around. Now, I mean, Demo Knight versus all the three Demo Knights versus N. That's an interesting one. Overseer is still up and now Damien can come in and tank like a bunch of damage for him. Oh, 
And Brute, how are you doing? Up oh, ends finished with his fight over there. Overseer down. Oh well, it's just two left, honestly. Actually, well, it is kind of three left. Devin and and the brute are the last ones remaining. Oh, <laughs> he just domed for heavy. So that medic soldier is probably gonna die. Yeah, if they can't keep him back far enough. I mean, I don't know why Heavy has such a... They, the minigun has such a strong pushback. It is really insane. Up, oh, he killed the Heavy. Caused Soldier to kill himself. This is still... This is going to be extremely close. then down goes him and then now it's just pretty much pyro versus n unfortunately for you pyro um your health pool is not as much it all comes down to this <laughs> we'll go game two Technically three now. So we just really need to watch for, well, the Brute and N. See where they are. Sheila and Overseer, they aren't bad. I mean, Sheila's HP pool is really low. Yeah, and just kind of staying in the back, um, summoning fire on everyone, you know, as you do when you're the Lord of Hell. The Brute just walking through all the fire, he doesn't care. Oh, and now N has joined the fray. They have just immediately rocketed over to the other side. And you still have Ivan the Tank alive, Devin Damien still going strong. I mean, they still have two heavies up and running. They have actually all three heavies up and running. They do not, however, they only have one pyro. And Brute is in. He's in on them. He is on. <laughs> oh my lord, Brute. I, I knew Ice Giant Punch was strong. I didn't think it was like 3,000 damage direct hit strong. Uh, brutes down. Ends fighting with his hands behind his back. That's how good he is right now. That's how confident he is in his team winning this match. Which I mean, fair. Oh my lord, that was so much damage against poor heavy. This soldier's dead. Oh, well, he would have been dead if he took a single step to the right. Heavy walking through the fire. Oh, he's, he's dead now. You don't look frozen at all. If you shoot the ground, however, you're, you're just, you're done. You're gone. Why? Why would you... I mean, okay. Next up, uh, Deltarune versus Souls. Undertale, the Souls, all coming together to try and defeat Deltarune. 
Birdly, you know, trying to be a uh, Chad, just jump in there, fight everyone at once. I mean, you got Spamton and Rousey going against both Justices. One down, two down, both are down. So now they just get to keep all these fools back. I mean, Birdly might die. He's not gonna die, okay, anyway, moving on. So now, um, we get to uh, FNF versus Pop Culture. Now this, this comes down to what will be Vader versus Sarvent Uniform. No one else really matters. I mean, the more damage they can do, the better. It means that Sarvent has to do less work later. But, like, Vader just killed, like, eight people by himself because he's Vader, and he's awesome, and we love him. But, I mean, even Vader is gonna be weak to Ion Strike Cannons. <laughs> orbital Strike, Orbital Bombardment, the Death Star Laser. Miscellaneous versus Doki Doki. I am not confident in Miscellaneous's chances of winning this one, however, I am extremely confident in their chances of winning any future round. In fact, I am so confident that I will put Just Sane and Melee Master against DDFC, and if they lose, well, I, I'm just bad at my predictions. But yeah, as I suspected, this. This one was not going to go well, so first off, let's just put in both of them alongside the rest of them. And then, and see what happens there. This, in my opinion, very heavily miscellaneous favor. Satan alone probably can kill most of Doki Doki. How much do we need? Another 1100. We'll put, we'll put Bianca there. But no, Satan alone can probably solo most of it. Melee Master would do extremely well, and then the rest of them are just kind of here to absorb some hits. Like that, just immediately destroying both Yattos like that. And Satan's in. I mean, Melee Master is a kind of weak to projectiles, because he doesn't have like any deflect or anything. Melee Master's gonna die, but Satan's still so healthy. Oh my god, Eevee, that was a horrible decision to do. And down they go. That was not what you wanted to do. I am so confident in just these two that we'll we'll do a third match with just this oh my god he's making them stuck in the air as well uh, would Satan no I don't know I don't feel like Satan alone would be able to do this or do it in any amount of time that would be near the quickness that would come from having Melee Master here, because Melee Master deals way more damage than Satan does. It's just that nothing can really hurt Satan. I mean, he is halfway down, so kudos to them. He wants to go after the ranged units now. Okay, and he has. He's gone after them. We've got one Yaddo left, trying to kill Satan. And he's dead. So yeah, Satan practically soloed them. Next up, uh, what is this? Undertale versus Legacy, yeah. I have so many factions that I forget them sometimes. I mean, Pike Man, is he gonna be able to use his Pike against anything? Toriel, Toriel? Nope, he got hit by Frisk's Love Arrow before he could, and then impaled. 
by Undyne. How ironic. Um, tank. Tank. Oh my god. Okay, no, Metaton Neo is not down. I thought he just die bombed Metaton Neo into death. Up doing 360 flips. Uh, he's dead now. Oh, are they actually? Are they actually? They're actually gonna win, aren't they? Maybe. I mean, he stopped fighting Asriel, which is an issue. He has to wait for the love to wear off. So Frisk and all three of the goats are still left alive. Because, I mean, the Super Box is definitely dead here. He gets to turn around sometimes, and then he just starts walking the other way because, I mean, love arrows are just too strong. AUs versus Undertale crossover begin. So I think this mainly comes down to Danielle versus Crosskara. Those are the two that are going to dish out the most damage for both sides. Don't get me wrong, other units are still important, it's just... None of them really have the same strength. Is Steven, how is Steven already dead? That's my question. Oh, she gets one off right now. Oh, that could be... Devastating. So much damage done. I mean, it's literally just, it's it's Danielle that's like doing everything. She has to do everything. Oh, she stopped Kara's. She stopped Cross Kara's. Oh my gosh, it's plausible. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. It's not. Okay. What happened to Steven? How did he? Oh, he got hit by multiple. Uh, Thor lightnings. Let's try and fix that. Nope. Nope. Can't fix that. We can't have him on the field, I guess. Now we can. I'm already dead. I feel Steven definitely brings a whole lot to the table. So, Kara, um, Sage is kind of taking care of Kara right now. Story Shift probably taking a huge amount of damage. X Kara killed Sage. Story Shift down. Oh, Danielle is still up. Oh, are they all. Oh, that literally just like saved everyone. I think that that one hurricane slash just saved all of Undertale Crossover. Let's try this now. We can afford another Danielle and Isaac to join the squad. Two Daniels is going to be very strong. Very strong, really nice to have. Yeah, already one just causing huge amounts of damage over there. Oh, good hit rank. Uh, killing everyone over here. Nightmare is almost dead already. Yo, know, trying to kill Story Shift, it's going well. Uh, well, goodbye on Swap Virus. That was a bad one from Kara. I don't even really think we needed Steven at this point after equalizing everything. Oh, he killed himself. The I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. He still had to deal with Rink, Epic Shift, and another almost full health Danielle. There was no way he was going to win that matchup, even after killing one Isaac and Danielle. 
Next up and the last match is MHA versus RLS. MHA does not have all for one in this matchup, which very important. We'll see if they can win without him. I mean, they did get a second All Might to compensate for it. But All for One was just a bit too costly. I mean, Shoto's looking really hurt right now. I mean, Demon Horror is already almost dead. Like, he has a massive HP pool, so that's not the best. So Blade's kind of taking one All Might away from the battle. Meanwhile, the other one, you know, going against Demon Horror. Oh, and All Might won that interaction. So they won round one. That's interesting. Just barely, though. Plasma was really the only one left. They can't afford much for... They can't really afford much for the price. A second Suki. Go ahead, go. Fight. I mean, they do have Hurricane Slash, so... It's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, that was an amazing one. That was a beautiful Hurricane Slash to do. Oh, Blade's already dead. I think, yeah, both Sukis are dead. Or, well, there's still one left, fighting all for one. And there is no way just Plasma is able to win this. Unfortunately, he's gonna get hit by Lightning here. Or, you know, more likely back himself off the map. Or, you know, lightning. 1v1 time. This is a 2v2, but it's Susie and Susie second form versus Damie and Damie second form. And actually, we can go one step further if we really needed to. We can go into their third forms. Um, where'd Damie phase one go? It's gonna say... Oh, she's already dead. Okay. Dami Phase 2 is gonna have to carry them, like, so hard right now. How much damage do these crows do? Oh, that is, like, none at all. Fairly certain that Susie's win, but let's get one last try here. Phase three, enter. Are you okay over there? She did not die from fall damage, that is interesting. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh no! This is why I banned self-copy! Oh no! Oh no! My frames! Oh no, my frames! <laughs> that's, um, that, that's why I banned self-copy. Um, yeah! <laughs> Should we try that again? Um... No, we should not. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. There's so many Susies. Oh, my Lord. There's so many of them. Oh, my frames. Oh, my poor frames. My, my poor frame rate. No, no. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, the, Su the Susies went. Oh, I mean. I, I guess I have to. It's 4v1, um, the frames are gonna very quickly die, and they're already dead. <laughs> Alright, but 
you know what, with that being said guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and of course, have a good day.